Hi, I'm Mara Gaminari, the Communications Director at the Florida Department of Environmental Protection. And I'm Noah Valenstein. I've got the privilege and honor of being the Secretary for the Florida Department of Environmental Protection. Secretary, tell us a little bit about what you spoke to conference goers today at the Lay of the Land conference about. Sure. So I think the thing that always rings true at the Department of Environmental Protection is that in order to protect the resources here in Florida, in order to guarantee a sustainable environment in the state of Florida, we've got to work with private landowners, we've got to work with agriculture. Um, our working landscapes, our natural landscape in Florida is going to be key to um, protecting the natural resources for future generations. What do you think the key issues facing Florida from an environmental perspective are right now? Sure, I mean, it's first and foremost in everyone's mind is the quality of water, right? It's protecting the quality of water, whether that's in our estuaries and our freshwater springs and rivers known around the world. Um, next is making sure the quantity of water is managed well, right? That we've got the right amount of water in the right spot, that when a growing agricultural business needs water to irrigate their fields, that it's there in the ground. When um, a family goes to one of our famous freshwater springs, uh, to enjoy that resource, that it is um, as healthy as it was for prior generations and that we know it'll be there for future generations. The folks here had a lot of really in-depth questions for you. What is it about this group of folks that is, is special and was important for you to engage with today? Sure. So you, I mean, without a doubt in Florida, we've got some of the most passionate folks about natural resources. And I think um, the most passionate are the folks that have the privilege to work on um, our natural lands on a daily basis, or whose businesses are part of preserving that landscape. Um, and so whether you're a farmer, whether you're financing an agricultural operation, whether you're growing timber here in Florida, likely that property has been in your family for generations. You've got a very personal connection. You know it better than anyone else. And you have a vested interest in making sure it's there, not just for your family for future generations, but for your community. What is most exciting for you about this time as Secretary of the Department of Environmental Protection? Sure, so we've got, I think, one of the boldest governors in the entire United States and a governor who's really focused on how important our resources are in the state of Florida um, to grow our economy, to make sure we continue to be the state where a family wants to come uh, raise its children and also start a business. And so that's really rewarding. Right now, we've got a governor asking for um, $2.5 billion to make sure our water supply is protected, that the quality of water in Florida is improved, uh, and so that is an exciting time to be secretary. Great. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. So I know part of the governor's executive order was some major restructuring at the agency. Can you tell us a little bit about how that's going and what your vision is for the future of the agency? Sure. So, again, when the governor came into office and throughout the campaign trail, he was laser focused on how important our natural resources are. And so it was probably less than 48 hours into office, the governor issued an executive order focused on protecting the quality of water in Florida and making sure we've got a sustainable environment. And really that executive order had several pillars to it. The first being making sure the funding was in place. You know, record funding request from the governor, $2.5 billion, billion dollars more than the last four years. But it also really set up a new structure at the department. Um, we sort of talk about three pillars that that executive order laid out. The first was to make sure that science is at the root of everything we do as an agency, right? Um, our employees are some of the best in the entire world for managing natural resources. We've got some brilliant PhDs. Um, and what the governor's executive order said was to really elevate the importance of science within the agency, that we should establish a chief science officer. So we're excited, we're close to bringing that individual on board, and that's really gonna highlight and make sure that every action we take as an agency that we know is rooted in science. The second thing the governor really talked about in the executive order was making sure that one, we're focused on science, but two, that we've made sure all our actions are accountable to the public, right? We are public servants, everything we do are, is funded from taxpayer dollars, and we want to make sure not just that we have good science, but that that's accessible to a business owner, a farm manager, um, or just a mother and father. And so the second pillar is to make sure that we're accountable and transparent in how we go about 
um, everything we do at the agency. And so that means if we're talking milligrams in, per liter um, for water quality, we also need to make sure that you don't have to have a PhD to understand what we're doing as an agency and that you can gauge whether we are successful and whether we are doing what we said we would do, mm -hmm. right? And, and so that's, that's critical. You should, um, you know, as a high school student in Florida passionate about the resources, as a mother growing a family here, as a small business owner, uh, you should be able to know what your water quality is, know where we want it to be as a state, know what we as an agency are doing, mm -hmm. hold us accountable, um, and be part of the solution. And then lastly, it's making sure we are using the full force and effect of the laws that we have, right? The legislature in Florida has blessed our agency with uh, a number of tools to protect our environment, and it's critical that when we're given a tool to protect the environment that we use it, right? Mm -hmm. And so that's the last pillar that the governor's executive order really makes clear is to ensure we're enforcing the laws we have on the books to protect the environment. We're excited that his order lays out um, criminal enforcement coming back to the agency and us getting uh, law enforcement again as part of our duties as an agency to make sure we're protecting our environment. Great, thank you.